Hi, my topic is urinary tract infection in older adults. My name is Gustavo Lopez. First definition. Urinary tract infection, UTI, is broadly defined as an infection of the urinary system and may involve the lower urinary tract or both the lower and upper urinary tracts. Urinary tract infection and asymptomatic bacteria are common in older adults. Unlike in younger adults, distinguishing symptomatic urinary tract infection from asymptomatic bacteria is problematic. As an older adults, particularly to living in long-term care facilities, are less likely to present with localized genitourinary symptoms. Hello. Today we are going to answer some frequently asked questions about urinary tract infections or UTIs. UTIs cause more than 8 million visits to healthcare providers each year. About 1 in 2 women and 3 in 25 men will have symptoms of at least one UTI in their lifetime. What is a UTI? A urinary tract infection happens when bacteria grows in your urinary tract, which includes your kidneys, bladder, and urethra. Bacteria may get into the urine from the urethra and travel into the bladder. They may even travel up to the kidney, but no matter how far they go, bacteria in the urinary tract can cause problems. What are the symptoms of a UTI? Symptoms of a UTI are different for everyone, but can include burning or pain with urination, frequent urination, lower back pain, cloudy or smelly urine, pelvic pain or pressure and fever. And symptoms vary depending on what part of the urinary tract is infected. If the infection is in your kidneys, you may experience upper back or side pain, high fever, shaking and chills, nausea or vomiting. If it's in your bladder, you may feel pelvic pressure, lower abdominal discomfort, frequent painful urination or blood in urine. If the infection is in your urethra, you may have burning with urination, discharge, and post-void urethral discomfort. Why are UTIs more common in women? Just as some people are more prone to colds, some people are more prone to UTIs. UTIs are more common in women because they have unique risk factors, like having a shorter urethra than men, so bacteria has a shorter distance to travel to reach the bladder and certain birth control methods that women may use, and menopause, can also cause UTIs in women. Also, women are more prone to lower urinary tract infections due to anatomical differences, because the rectal area, which can be a reservoir for bacteria, is in close proximity to the vaginal urethra area. How are UTIs treated? A UTI can usually be treated with a short course of antibiotics. Pain and the urge to urinate often go away after a few doses, but it is very important that you still take the full course of medicine even if you feel better. Unless UTIs are fully treated, they can often return. How can I prevent UTIs? There are a few steps you can take to avoid getting urinary tract infections. Drink plenty of liquids, especially water. Empty your bladder soon after intercourse. Don't hold your urine for too long. And for women, avoid potentially irritating feminine products. Wipe from front to back. Choose a different contraception method because diaphragms and spermicide can lead to more UTIs. So there you have it. All of the basic information about urinary tract infections. If you have more questions about UTIs, visit our website at urologyhealth.org. And if you think you may have a UTI, call your doctor right away, because if left untreated, UTIs can become serious. Applications in medicine. Consensus guidelines have been published to assist clinicians with diagnosis and treatment of urinary tract infection. However, a single evidence, best approach to the diagnosis of urinary tract infection does not exist. 
In the absence of a gold standard definition of urinary tract infection, that clinicians agree upon over treatment with antibiotics for suspend urinary tract infections remains a significant problem and leads to a variety of negative consequences, including the development of multidrug resistant organisms. Hey guys, I'm Jenna Ryan, CEO and co-founder of Ucora, the UTI prevention company. Um, we are talking about some of our customer stories. Uh, this one in particular is about UTIs in older adults. Um, UTIs can be really different as we get older and so I wanted to chat a little bit about that. So Cynthia from Oregon says, my older mother was getting recurring urinary tract infections and they were often not identified until they were very severe. Her symptoms include fatigue, mild fever later in the infection, swelling and back pain, but not the usual burning when urinating. One time she even had to be hospitalized overnight because she'd become incoherent due to the severity of the infection. The cycle of antibiotics and then the bacterial overgrowth afterwards was horrible. Eucora has stopped all that and we're very relieved. She has to take it every day, but it's absolutely worth it. Um, so I wanted to chat about a few things there. First is that UTIs uh, in younger people often present with burning, with urination, and a frequency to, um, in an increased frequency of urination. Uh, you probably are familiar with that, that sort of burning telltale signs. But as we get older, sometimes those symptoms stop to show up in the way that we're used to seeing them. And in some cases, in older adults, UTIs can cause symptoms that seem like dementia even. Uh, people can be disoriented, there's a sense of delirium, sometimes a, a loss of balance. Um, and so we hear from people a lot who thought that their mom or dad that they were taking care of um, had something else happening, more like dementia or memory loss, and in the end it was a UTI that wasn't uh, detected early on. So um, definitely be aware of any of those sort of personality changes in um, older adults that you might be taking care of or responsible for. And um, know that Eucora is a great way to get ahead of UTIs and avoid that, that cycle before it starts. Pros and cons. First, UTI is the most common indication for antibiotic prescriptions in older adults. For the treatment, it's recommended nitrofuratum monohydrate microcrystals, 100 mg twice daily for five days, or trimetropine sulfamethoxazole, 116 or 800 mg twice daily for three days. Cons. UTI is one of the most commonly diagnosed infections in older adults. It's the most frequently diagnosed infections in long-term care residents, including for over a third of all nursing home assistance infections. The incidence of UTI is higher in women compared with men across all age groups. A UTI is caused when bacteria infects the bladder or kidneys, which happens when the bacteria finds its way into the urinary tract through the urethra. The bacteria then multiply in the urine and an infection develops. In our seniors, a UTI can produce severe symptoms, including hallucinations, falling, fever or night sweats or chills, and pain or burning sensation in the infected area. When a UTI is left untreated in an elderly person, it can lead to more serious consequences such as dehydration and further infection. If the infection spreads into the bloodstream, then it can cause fatal problems like acute or chronic kidney failure. Furthermore, UTIs are the leading cause of sepsis, a bacterial infection in the bloodstream that frequently leads to death. Thus, while a UTI itself may not be life-threatening, it inevitably leads to more serious infections that are fatal. For this reason, a urinary tract infection should receive treatment as soon as possible 
particularly in the elderly. Because of a UTI's potentially life-threatening nature, nursing homes have a legal duty to use reasonable care to keep their residents from developing infections. When a resident does contract a UTI, nursing homes must administer treatment as soon as possible. If a nursing home fails to take these precautions and a resident develops a urinary tract infection, then that facility may be liable for the consequences. This means that that nursing home may be responsible for medical bills, out-of-pocket expenses, and pain and suffering. If your loved one developed an infection at a nursing home or assisted living facility and you're wondering if you have a claim, then please feel free to call and speak to one of our Georgia nursing home abuse lawyers today. Our consultations are always free. And if you'd like more information about this topic, then click on our other videos. Or better yet, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to Next, issue applied in Ecuador. In Ecuador, you unite track infection, also more in the elderly. The main causal agent is the E. coli bacillus with 71.5%, followed by Coxilia SPP with 28.5%, according to a study carried out in 200 patients. Did you know that the symptoms of urinary tract infection can be different in elderly people than they are in the younger people? Do you know what symptoms should send up a red flag so that you get your mother to the doctor as soon as possible? As we age, things change, including the way we experience the symptoms of urinary tract infections or UTIs. When we're younger, we usually experience the first symptoms of a urinary tract infection as burning, urgency, and increased frequency to urinate. As we age, these symptoms may go unnoticed until a simple bladder infection progresses to a full-blown kidney infection or even sepsis. Often, the first symptom an elderly person with a UTI exhibits is confusion. While sudden confusion in an older person doesn't necessarily mean a UTI, any sudden changes in their mental process needs to be checked out immediately. Other unusual symptoms that may signal that your mother or father has a urinary tract infection include out-of-character agitation, dizziness, falling, hallucinations, and other unusual behaviors. If you notice any of these symptoms, especially if they come on suddenly, you need to get your parent to the physician as soon as possible. Urinary tract infections can become serious quickly. While not all UTIs can be prevented, we all need to drink more water, and this will help. Seniors who are also having issues with incontinence may be reluctant to drink enough water because they're afraid of accidents. But drinking plenty of water keeps the kidneys and bladders functioning properly. While cranberry capsules will not cause any harm, it's questionable as to whether or not they actually help prevent UTIs. Cranberry juice may help, but it has a lot of sugar in it and is probably not best for diabetics. Emptying the bladder often helps flush the bacteria out. It may be a good idea to be on a bathroom schedule every two or three hours. Do you have any questions about caring for your aging parents? Leave your comments below on suggestions for videos that you would like to see in the future. Thank you for joining me today to learn about the unusual symptoms your parent may experience if they have a urinary tract infection. Have a blessed week. Conclusion. UTI, urinary tract infection, are more common in older adults. Developing an evidence-based approach for diagnosis, UTI remains a top priority. Control treatment studies assessing health outcomes after antibiotics used for suspend UTI in older adults who present with, with no specific symptoms could help determine cause effect of antibiotics treatment.
one of the most common uh, infectious diseases that people uh, come to us about are have to do with urinary tract infections. And um, you know, UTIs or urinary tract infections, of short uh, said, are um, are very common infections, and and they affect both uh, um, young patients and they can also affect an older population. Um, and uh, it's a really simple infection to treat because, in general, um, with a very few days of antibiotic therapy, you can really um, take care of the infection. And most of the time, or most of the physicians uh, would also order some tests uh, to, you know, to be run, including a urine analysis and a urine culture. That will give us a better idea of what bacteria we're treating, and therefore we can attack it with the appropriate antibiotics. Thanks very much.